What's good Space Cowboys? Zero here back with another ship guide and today we are looking at the Ecliptic Bayonet. This is another ship that you can steal early on in the game and not a bad ship if you are looking for an upgrade to your frontier early on. It is a class A reactor ship. It has pretty decent armament actually coming stock with it uh, with your disruptor auto electron beams uh, the EMP 80 suppressors and then we've got the ATL ATA till ATL 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 278 missile launchers there um, so pretty pretty tight little gunship here not much to it we're gonna take a look at maybe some upgrades that we might do to it then maybe walk around the outside take a peek inside then see if we can do some damage out in space uh, I think you can pretty much find this on most starter planets that you land on somewhere around in the beginning of the game it does have a shorter jump range so you're not gonna be able to get too far with it if you do end up stealing it uh, it does have a crew of three which is nice it's a little bit larger than your starter ship the frontier uh, but the shielding is eh, so so that might be one of the first things we upgrade uh as well as maybe popping another engine on if that is possible back here uh but let's take a look at how we might be able to upgrade this and then we'll take a look and fly it around got anything you need to offload sure how about it all right, so taking a look here, it looks like we have a three by one engineering bay, which is the main uh, cabin module up to the samurai cockpit. I love this cockpit. It is one of my favorite cockpits. Uh, I have said it in a couple other videos, uh, but this is definitely uh, one that I just love the interior design of. It actually fits really well with the design of this particular ship as well. Uh, this feels like it almost could splash down in some water and float there. Uh, these are pretty standard landing gear bays. There is just some, uh, let's see, Hope Tech companion way, and then you've got your reactor there. Not a lot of wasted hull space on this, so not much additions that you could do. You could maybe pop this forward one more and then add another module onto the top. Uh, but then you would be losing that hard point right there. Uh, not a lot of other hard points are going to be available here. They're pretty much all used up with weapons already. Uh, this is about your only one, and I'm honestly not sure what I would put on there. Um, maybe another missile, maybe some shield, shield breaking weapons. Not really sure. A turret might go a long ways there, but... Uh, overall, it comes pretty well decked out as far as this ship can go. Uh, reactor power is only 18, which is not great, but for a Class A ship, not too bad. This is where it really does some damage here. If you are looking to use this ship to take out some other ships and board and steal, this is definitely one you might want to get started with. Uh, I did find this ship, I think, pretty close to uh, this Alpha Centauri system. Actually, maybe I found it in the Alpha Centauri system here. Uh, like I said, this is a pretty early on ship. It's not valued super high. You won't be able to make a lot of credits on it, but if you're just selling, stealing to sell ships, it's gonna make you a little bit of money. Let's take a walk around the outside here. I feel like if you had like a squadron of like four or five of these, it would do some serious damage. These, these components go really well together. I like how these all stack very nicely. I wish there was a little bit less of a gap. I wish that kind of molded in from one module to the next. Grab drive sticks out a bit back here. It's all right. That might be something you might want to replace. Pretty small cargo hold there. These landing struts are pretty awesome. Love those vertical takeoff engines around the side. 
I do like how it's like got a front mounted loading bay right under the cockpit here. This cockpit actually probably has a weapon mount underneath. I didn't actually check that out. That also might be a good place to place another weapon. I find the interior of this ship comforting. So we can go right up to the top here. We'll go all the way up to the top and check out that just small hab module at the top first. Basic cargo storage. Again, one thing that you can do for this ship that you might really want to consider if you are going to keep this is uh, taking this off and moving it forward uh, and then getting a 2 by one uh, module here instead. Uh, this is not really the most useful module on here. It's empty space, really. I mean, you do need it to connect to the other, uh, if you're connecting to another ship or docking with a star station. But there are larger modules that you can replace that with. Alright, here we're getting into the main hab. We've got in the back here, I like this computer console. Never mind. Sorry. I'm thinking of something else. This is that engineering uh, yes, Captain. module. I think the 3 by one engineering hab module. I like the look of the engines. Don't really know the point. I mean... <laughs> uh, but... Still, very nice aesthetic look. Got a little bit of a storage crate there. And then we're gonna go on to the bridge. I love this cockpit module. God, just great views all around. Especially from the captain's chair. Easy access to your cargo and armillary. Alright, And this Tayo Samurai cockpit is one of my favorite ones. Uh, there are other ones, but I don't think they look great on Class A ships. For Class A ships, this is, I think, my favorite. Take it out in space, see how fast she can get up to, and then just see how it handles in a fight. So top speed around 150 normal cruising, and then boosted. I guess we'll get up to probably around five or 600. Close to 600. All right, let's take her out. And see how she handles in a fight. And to do that, let's just go ahead and see if we can't fight a little legendary scavenger ship here. I think this legendary scavenger ship is level 35 and it has a couple, maybe two or three other fighter escorts. I don't anticipate I'm going to be able to take them on with this ship, but we'll just see how it does. I have very little skills invested into shields. Uh, actually, I think I only have level 1 on shields, and I haven't invested anything else into weapons. So this is pretty much what you're going to see stock from this ship.
is disabled. Turns really nice. Um, So with a bit of modding, a little bit more skills, this would be a decent little fighter. Um, this is just base model. Again, that was way, way, way above my level uh, for this ship. This ship is definitely an early game ship. You can get it for free, just steal it off of any planet where you see somebody making a landing, um, and because it's ecliptic, no one's gonna miss it. Uh, anyways guys, thanks for checking this video out, I will see you in the next one. Cheers.